game. Just the old, the old school Texas out of bounds play. Just dive a guy and sneak a guy in behind the action. Very well done by George. Santiago Biscobi buries his first triple. Comes out of there with it and will push for the balls. And here's another early three. Jane Springer buries his back-to-back -back deep balls for Tennessee. Last three years in that Tennessee uniform. The lefty Wheeler misses going to his right. Biscobi open for three. That's his second triple. What a hot start to this one for Tennessee. And other leaders across sports, whether it be Jack Jim and John Harbaugh, or on the baseball side of things, or basketball, that they're always picking other coaches' brains. Back-to-back -back possessions, their fourth turnover of the night. Springer off the mark, first miss from three for UT. With all the disruptions that coaches are dealing with during a pandemic? I think it is because you, know, you didn't have the non-conference and all, all those different things that we all, we all know. We don't need to get into the list, but possession kind of sums up who they are. They really get out and get to rolling. Have an awkward land on that. Well, it's a lot of pressure on that right knee to come down. Things. His dad was a college basketball player. Walk on, right? Yeah. Just yep. grew up dreaming to possibly someday put on a Georgia uniform. And... Look different without your guy Tom Brady. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so Slide by off. Springer, regathered. He's got seven. That's a really good looking release. And then Jaden Springer just the ability to get to the paint, draw a crowd, make a play. Versatile, but it gets it stolen away by Anasiki. Tennessee will run. Springer around Edder. Yeah, just a special play, man, by Springer, because Edder did a good job of getting back and throwing up a wall in transition. Wheeler. Springer, double clutch. Tennessee red hot from deep. It's Springer's second three of the night. scope has got three of them. Bailey, James, Johnson, and all contributed three balls in his half. Eight seconds left. Wheeler to push. Here's Kamara poked away. Three on the clock. Loose ball. They come out of there with it. Bailey at the buzzer. Too strong, but an impressive first half for this Tennessee team. Came in with 134 assists on the season. There he is going left, and he coughed it up, taken away by Springer. Bro, but they're going to have to get in a, a couple of ball games in that tournament that you know, they've got to shoot the ball like the are tonight. If they do, they can absolutely get there, Tom, because of their depth. Again, they're looking at one of the top three or four defensive teams in all of college basketball. Charge that this kid has in his game. That, that was powerful. We're going to watch that dunk again. We're going to show it every TV timeout. Can yeah, we just two box it and show it on a loop? Here you go right with here. the reach in. Get ready. Good Bowden Bowden had, had a one. phenomenal one, right? Off of an inbounds play one time. But bias, obviously because they have had a whole host of great dunkers. Springer trying to get in on the fun, lost it. Etter whistled for his third. Restricted arc. Dunks over the entire Mississippi State team. This is going to reach Brussels before long. Can we quit showing this? It had to turn up the tempo a little bit. Well, he was, he was very real with us, Tom was. There's that talking about backing down guards. Springer, Wheeler's really good at it, too. We haven't seen it from him tonight. First half, especially, what turned over right at 30% of their possessions. So it's a team shot better than 38% from three to lead Power Five conferences. Wheeler gets a lot of palm on that basketball as a shooter. So he's going to clean up the next offseason. Boy, is Tennessee clicking or what? Absolutely clicking that full body gap help. So I, I, I trust all three of those teams we just had up there. That's a, well, that's a big thing in March. As a coach, do you trust your team? As teammates, do you trust your team? Do your SEC player of the year to not rank in the top ten in anything? Like has that ever happened? Like like one out of 17 categories is he in the top ten? Also had an incredible dunk on the baseline against Kentucky. It was very similar to that Keon Johnson one. Springer gets to the rim. He's got a 22-point night. Of course, a tough look. Clean up that board and go. A.D. Johnson at 21 in his Georgia debut. Edder with the board. Springer jumped on the left, forced a turnover. Not expecting to spring it here for a couple possessions. 
of here. Wheeler, pardon me, Katie Johnson got his hands in there for the takeaway. Can Tennessee be with the basketball over the last three minutes? On, on a scale of one to ten, it's been about a nine. They literally just had the ball ripped out of their hand. Good teams don't make those kind of turnovers, Tom. The network on Saturday, 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. What it was, was something happened. Wheeler penetrates. Run in a circle yeah. around Springer, who gets whistled for his third personal. Over he aspires to be an NBA GM one day. Trying to lead Georgia to a come from behind win. Nine point game now, and Wheeler picks up the foul on the open floor. That is his fourth case. Has this guy been an icon? Springer. Seven of eight from the floor. Seven of ten from the free throw line. A career high 24 points for Jaden Springer, the freshman. Back-to-back so -back big game by Springer. 23 at Rupp, now 24 tonight. Wheeler trying to reverse it, gets stuck under the rim. Viscovi, oh, wide open to Springer. Blocked by Kamara. Easily, easily be a six-point game right now. And then that. That's a two for Springer. Six-point game. Pressure again. Springer brings it down. I cannot tell you the risk value of that pass he just made. 28 for Springer. Leads eight again. Here's KD Johnson pushing. And the clock will stop on a foul by Josiah James. Got a quick foul on Etter. 70 percent in this game let's see what he does 29 points two big free throws yeah the scoby's automatic Johnson will take it all the way and he's fouled by Springer Bailey at midcourt they won't foul, and that will be the final. 89-81, fantastic second half. Georgia scored 55 in the second half, but they come up eight points short. Mm.